I'm going to show you how I use side to improve my game and optimize my chances of winning. This is Break From Life. Welcome back, and if this is the first time watching one of our videos, then it's great to have you here. This is our second video about how to use side spin, and if you haven't seen the first one already, then why not head to our channel page and check out our video on snooker side shots, as well as all of our other videos, which are designed not just to help you play snooker, but to make you dominate. And why not make the commitment to becoming a better snooker player by subscribing to the channel? In the last video, I talked a lot about how to play shots with side, how to allow for deflection, how the cue ball spinning across the table affects the shot, as well as how you have to adjust your point of aim on the object ball to allow you to pot the ball. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how the shots I play with side not only allow me to make certain shots more simple, as well as giving me more options on the table. Now my first bit of advice on this is going to be if you can avoid using side then it's probably best to do so. If you notice I make this entire 40 break that I'm currently playing now without using one shot with side spin. So we're going to start by looking at the play shots with side checklist and arcing the cue ball. This is a great way to take advantage of side spin because it means you can pop balls that you otherwise couldn't. So we're going to just spin the white round the black here with, by swerve hitting down on the ball to swerve it and hitting it on the right hand side to play the swerve shot. So we're just going to play it, get the pace right which is everything on this shot and try not to go in off. And it's not just the big swerve shots that you can take advantage of. If you just play a shot with right hand side, it will swerve a little bit, which means a simple shot like this, just playing it with right hand side means you could pot it when a plain ball shot, you couldn't. Now the next thing we've got to look at is use a spin off cushions. Now if you're new to playing shots with side, this is one of a few shots I definitely look at as a way of taking advantage right now rather than waiting to learn the shots. Because if you see I play that shot with out any side and we can't hit the ball so I play it with left hand side and it's going to come off the cushion there at an angle and come backwards towards the pink it's just a simple case of getting the right amount of side and hitting the correct place on the cushion even though you have still got that side spin on the ball so there we go and we got it we stuck it up horribly but we at least we hit it something I need to explain here if you play a shot with side towards a cushion from a very tight and narrow angle it won't change the cue ball's direction that much but it, what it will do is increase the speed or decrease the speed by quite a lot so when you're playing a shot like this with side what you've got to remember is it's off the first cushion it's not gonna change that much in direction so that's why we play the shot with right hand side because when it hits the first cushion it's not going to change very much the sides are going to be on the second cushion and that's when it flicks off as you see it flick to the left there off the cushion and we got the shot and I'm actually pretty happy with that one the break off is actually another place if you're new to playing with side that I would advise you take advantage of. It's probably like one of three shots. The first one as I said was snooker escapes. This is the same one because there's a good chance if you play it like I did without side there you can hit a bolt colour and leave something on. It's not so simple. If you play this with right hand side or left hand side if you want to play it from the other side and then you can spin it round two cushions like that. There's never going to be anything in the way as long as you get that angle right and it's a lot less likely that you're going to play an object ball towards a pocket. Now, the next thing we've got to look at is the change of the object ball's direction that we will highlight hugely in the third video about side. But when this white contacts our spin ball, it's going to change its direction on the point of contact to cut it more because we had left-hand side on it. And we can use this to our advantage with shots like this. We normally wouldn't be able to pop this red, but if we play it with right-hand side, we will contact the red 
wider than normal, but the spin on the cue ball will force it towards the near jaw and will actually get the pop. So if we go and play it, we're playing it with right hand side. At the point of contact, it forces it towards the near jaw because we're going to podder that otherwise. Now a huge subject is the use of position on the use of positional shots to gain an advantage from side. Now watch what we do here. That's probably the third shot I would play if I was new to playing snooker. Just using side to play a slow shot that gets the cue ball away from the pocket and you can choose the direction. And here's another one that's very similar. Two cushions with side. Now a lot of people would try and punch this out off the top cushion, but the chances are you're going to leave the white very close to the cushion. You've got to play the white, play the shot at quite a pace. Now you could play this a lot softer at a very good speed that's giving a good chance of potting the ball. And watch the spin flick this out off two cushions. Watch what happens. It speeds up and accelerates off both cushions and it comes out nicely for the black. So you side on shots you can't miss to get out from the pockets. Now this is a slightly more advanced shot and it's a shot I play a lot rather than a stun shot. So I'm going to play this with left hand side so when it hits the top cushion I don't go towards the red, I come back towards me away from it. Now alternatively it's a little bit harder but you can do the same thing in the opposite direction so you can play it right hand side and off the top cushion it goes away from you this these are two very basic shots the side does make it difficult to pop them but I would definitely advise learning to play now this next one is called reverse side and if you follow the cue ball round off two cushions, you'll understand. So if we hit the top cushion and the side cushion with right hand side, you'd understand why it's going to hit the side cushion here straight with right hand side and come out like it has left hand side on it to get on the red. And that's a, more, a hell of a lot more advanced shot, but worth playing. Now this is a check side shot that you want to play for the blue because that I've played at plain ball and it's always going towards a cushion no matter how hard I hit that that's going towards a cushion I can play the same shot with left hand side and watch what the white does as soon as it hits the cushion it straightens up slows it down and you come back nicely for the pink and that's a very popular it's a sort of middle of the road sort of side shot now this positional shot is at the very difficult end of the scale. My best and simplest option was like that to screw it back because I'm the wrong side of the blue and if I try to go the long way around the table even with a load of left hand side literally can't do it. So I'm going to play this with a hell of a lot of top spin and less right hand side than you think and watch this off two cushions. Finishes nicely on the red. That's a very hard shot but it's the only way you're going to get on that red. Something we haven't really covered yet is the change of the cue ball direction when you have a shot with side on it. Because if you look at this shot, if I'm trying to play for the pink, I can't because it's going to go in off. It's straight in off. I can't dig down on the ball because I'm right against the cushion. So what you can do is play it with a, as little side as you can get away with, but you can play it with side. Now this changes the direction very slightly that the white hits the blue at. And as we showed earlier, you can hit it thicker because the side will change the angle the blue releases. So you can play the shot slightly thicker and even though I was nowhere near getting on the pink at least I didn't go in off same thing on this black if I pot it plain it goes in like that and that's about a foot from the cushion that's a typical in off shot so what you have to do with that because you can't dig down on it again is play it with a trace aside either way to keep it out of the pocket now positional shots without using a cushion. Now on a screw shot like this, say you wanted to get straight on the red for whatever reason because there's perfectly good really, but for whatever reason you want to get straight. If you play it with left hand side, because of taking advantage of the different position you hit the black, you can make it screw back at, let's face it, an unnatural <laughs> angle. And this is important because I don't play this shot very much at all, but I know a lot of good players who 
do play this an awful lot to get their positions spot on. And you see how much closer to straight I got than if I just potted it normally. Now, playing with side can give you more options along the cushion. Now, if you play a shot normally to pop this red along the cushion, you want to hit the cushion and ball roughly at the same time. But playing it with side means that you're going to hit the cushion and ball for longer. And this gives you an advantage that means you can hit the cushion slightly first and still pop the ball. Now that was a normal plain ball shot and you see how easily it went in. Now this, this isn't necessarily a better way of playing the shot. I know a lot of players use this, a lot of players just play it plain ball. But if you play a shot like this with running side, as I've shown before in impossible snooker shots made easy, have a look, it's in the card right now. You can then contact the cushion before the ball, which means you have a little bit more room to play with sometimes. Now, the fact that you've got side on it can make you miss, but I like to use this shot not to make the pot easier, but to actually aid the position sometimes. Because when you've got a straight shot like this, it's gonna still miss the near jaw for this shot. You don't have to play it so hard again, like we were going around two cushions. You can just play it slow, pop the ball, and easily get out for the black without having to play a power shot, which is very handy down the cushion. Now on this shot, for example, is near enough straight, the use of side can mean you can end up on a bolt colour from off a shot that's nearly straight. So these are shots with side spin that I commonly use in a game of snooker. If you want to know how to play these shots in more detail, then why not try these two videos? And don't forget, not just to watch, but to play. And make a commitment to being a better snooker player and keep up to date by subscribing to the channel. See you later.